When did you connect the idea that TM, Transcendental Meditation, could work for veterans? Well, I've been teaching Transcendental Meditation for 40 years, and I've been teaching it to 20, 30 years ago to Vietnam vets and even World War II vets, but it's just been in the past years where the understanding that post-traumatic stress disorder is a real epidemic that has no conventional traditional solution. <clears throat> so you combine that with the fact that there's now 30 years of research on transcendental meditation showing that it's a profoundly effective for giving deep rest, healing the brain and reducing stress. So we got approached by a lot of military people and veterans organizations uh, saying, hey, can you offer a TM to the vets? Just a quick question, Bob. I, meditation has played a role in my life only on the periphery. Like, I kind of know what it is, but you keep referring to transcendental meditation. Can you just tell me what that is and different yeah. than what my conception of just meditation? Uh, meditation is sort of a generic word that right. can mean anything. Transcendental meditation is a very simple, easily learned mental technique that's practiced for 20 minutes twice a day sitting comfortably in a chair with the eyes closed and Russell and I can both do it and so Bob that and we have yeah we have very, after I read Russell's book it's this like, is it's an ideal meditation for people who have very busy minds so right thinking 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 and what's the attitude of Pentagon I was going to ask oh, yeah. everyone benefits from meditation. Were there soldiers, though, who They're felt like, oh, this is touchy-feely, nanu, nanu, right. yeah. and, I, and, I, and I may not want to do this. I am a soldier, I'm a fighter, and this is, you know, that there's some sort of cultural issue. Oh, I'm sure there are lots of people. We have schools all over the country where we teach young people to meditate. And there's some people who, who um, think that meditation has something to do with religion. But this idea of letting your mind settle is in every religion, but it's also in every spiritual teaching, but also everyone needs to look inside for reflection in order to work outside. And operating from a, a calm space has got to be the greatest gift anyone can be given to, t to teach people how to look inside and to then give from the inside out. I mean, all your happiness sits inside. Everything, every creative idea you have comes from a moment of presence. So, Bob, what do the veterans get out of it? I mean, what difference have you seen anecdotally in veterans who are practicing TM? Well, first of all, it's interesting that it's a generational thing because the young kids coming, you know, the 20s, 30s, the idea of meditation is fine. You know, they go to yoga class, mm -hmm. they hear about meditation, and they just want to be able to do it. And they can do transcendental meditation. The research findings, and this is the reason why now the VA is funding research on transcendental meditation, and we're working with um, Wounded Warrior Project and many, many military bases, is that they found about a 50% reduction in the symptoms of depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. The research shows a reduction in heart disease, which is a byproduct of uh, PTSD, anxiety, all these sleep disorders. It doesn't replace other oh, no, psychological no, no. treatments. No, it's an adjunct therapy. We use it as an adjunct therapy. It's medically sound, scientifically tested. It's even being used at Norwich University, which is the oldest, oldest private military college in the country. And there, the President Richard Schneider sees this as the missing element in promoting resilience. What a great gift for That's Veterans Day when you think about it. I mean, if you can give someone peace of mind and yes. some calmness in dealing with some of the terrible things that happen. It does that replace, veterans. and this correct you on one thing, I mean, you don't have to give a kid Ridlin. Yeah. Oh, words. I see what you mean. And so yeah. you don't need for ADD, for, for instance. It does cure that, and there are many uh, medical, uh, procedure, uh, medical processes or, or gifts that are, are not needed.